Hey guys, it's Nick. Um, I just wanted to apologize if there's any weird, um, when I write there's a circle, and also if the volume kind of changes, I'm sorry. Um, I'll try it in the future. Um, hey guys, this is Nick. I'm going to go over a really quick, kind of easy way to remember and generate all the um, allo sugars. There, You generate all the D sugars, but you can convert to L pretty simply. So um, the first thing you're going to do is remember git raxel, and you're going to be in this, in a pyramid format, so it's going to be 1, 2, Four. Sorry about this. Um, it's kind of difficult. I should just use a pen, the pen with the touch thing. But so anyway, the way this works is this is the three carbon sugar, this is the four carbon sugar, and these are five carbon sugars. The, um, I'll get to six after this, just because that's going to take some more space. But so, say you wanted to do. Xylose. Someone was like, oh man, what's xylose? Yeah. So down here, you'd be like, okay, xylose, that's on the third row. So we're going to do one, two, three branches across. Up top, you're going to put your aldehyde. And down bottom, you have your achiral carbon, which is CH. Well, oh, so hard. Say H two zero, and then so you know you want to do D D xylose. You'll put the hydroxyl on the right. I'm just going to put in the hydroxyl groups, not the um, hydrogens right now. So um, that takes there of this row. Um, what you do is you move down to the next row because you want to go right to get to xylose. Here, I'll put in these little lines. So these are splitting um, branches. So since we're going to xylose, we go right to get to the get to the next row, um, which means we want to put it on the left side. Um, and then basically, if you're you just want to switch, you go to the opposite side. So since we go left from talus down to xylose, it goes on the right side. Um, basically, just going bottom to top. So that's xylose structure. Now, if you want to do ribose over here, same thing. Line one, two, three. And I'm not going to do the top and bottom, obviously, they're the same CHO, CH2O. Um, but you start off, you want D or L is, is your bottom one, and that's your first row. Um, you come down to the second row, and um, let's see, we go to the left, so you put it on the right. And then you go from to the next row, you put it on the right again. There you go. So that's all the three to five carbon sugars, pretty quickly. Um, sorry about that. Um, I just wanted to clear the screen pretty quick. So um, once you can do those, you have. I'm going to try and do this smaller, just so I have room. So remember, get Raxel R A. Oh, now I'm getting big. X. L. Now, this one, there's eight, so it's, but it's, it kind of helps you some. So, all altruists, uh, and I'm not going to have room. I have an idea. Sorry about that. So, it's going to be all altruists. Gladly make gum in gal in tanks. Um, so this is your acronym for eight. Um, I com the reason I copied this is um, the capital letters. The reason it's capitalized so weird is because those are the first. Um, sorry, the first. Oh no. Let's just put it down there. Oh no. So put back Lixos. But um, anyway, so that's our acronym. Oh cool. It saved it. So um that's gonna stand for Alos ALTR. 
Altros, Glucos, Manos, Gulos, Indos, Galactose, and Talos. So, um, if you know all the names of the sugars, they still show you how to make them. But um, this works the same way. So we have three, four, five, and six. Um, so say you're like, oh, I have to know the structure for Gulos. Um, so you start. It's in the fourth row. So we do one, two, three, four lines. Um, let's say your teacher wants L gulose for some reason. So you're gonna put oh man. You're gonna put your circle on the left side, on the other side, um, just because it's L and not D. If you want the D, it goes on the right. Um, the easy way to remember that is um, for D, you have this line, which is like the center line here, and then it goes to the right. So this was that's how you remember D is on the right side. So this is gonna be L. Oh my gosh, Gulos. Easy mode. So, L Gulos. So L for left or D, remembering the right side. That's that's how I do it, but the other way works too. And oh my gosh, I have the easiest, the best idea ever. So, um, so we're gonna put the one on the left. You're gonna have to. Um, so we start at the top, and we're doing Gulos, which is this is kind of. I it's easier if I have the lines in here. I'll put them in after. But um, so we start in this row with the bottom. We go to the right, which means it goes on the left. Then we go left, which means it goes on the right. And left again, so it goes on the right. And then if you put CHO at the top and CH2O at the bottom, as well as all the H's on those. These little branches go to H's. Um, so there you go, that, that would be El Goulos. Um, it's really si really quick, simple way to remember it. Just remember, get Raxel, and all altruists gladly make gum in gallon tanks. And um, it really helps. Um, another just kind of quick thing, some of the more simple simple ones also work for um, for keto sugars. So like, um, it depends on the names, if how easy it is to remember, but like ribulose, if you have, so ribulose is third row down, so you have three bars, but the first one is going to be your sugar, so then you only have two, and then up top, oh man, what just happened? Oh well. Um, so we have CH2O, put that up top, put it at the bottom. So we're going to start with the first row, but the first row is already taken. So we're going to go left, which is going to put the hydroxyl group on the right. And you go left again to ribose, but um, in this case it'll be ribulose, and put it on the right again. So um, xylulose is the other one I had to know, which would be um, since you have to go right and then left, this would be now on the other side, or actually switching them just because that's your determining carbon that determines whether it's L or D. So it would be the other way around. But um, anyway, that's a real quick introduction to how to kind of remember all the sugar structures and how to generate them. Um, so if you don't know them, so all you have to remember is get Raxel, all altruists glad they make gum in gallon tanks, and um, and then the names, obviously. Um, glyceraldehyde, erythrose, talose, ribose, arabidose, xylose, xylose is dyslexic cousin lixose, and then allose, altrose, glucose, mannose, gulose, indose, galactose and talos. But anyway, um, thanks for joining and hopefully you learned a little bit more about sugars and how to generate these projections.
Um, thanks. Um, feel free to you know comment, rate, sub. If you want to see something else, I'm currently in biochem, so I do this as kind of a study aid for me, and um, I'll try and make videos for as much as I can. Thanks.